Have you ever eaten something and then within hours your stomach is so bloated you find yourself needing to, I don't know, maybe loosen your, your waistline a little bit, <laughs> loosen that belt? Well, it may be small intestinal bacterial overgrowth known by the acronym SIBO. Dietitian and natural foods expert Allie Miller with Naturally Nourish is here to tell us more about this condition and how it can be treated with food as medicine. I like that kind of medicine. Yes. Good morning to you. Good morning, Melissa. So tell us about SIBO. I don't know that a lot of people have heard about it or even realize that might be their problem. Right. It's actually coming on the rise. Some mm -hmm. gastroenterologists are actually starting to talk to their patients about it, but it's more in the constructs of functional integrative medicine. Mm -hmm. What happens in this type of condition is that bad bacteria overgrows within the small intestine, and so particular foods are fermented, and that byproduct is carbon dioxide, so we get bloated, we can have belching, gas, and there's a multitude of factors that can lead to chronic illness. What causes it in the first place? How do you get that bacteria overgrowth? A diet that's really high in refined sugar or processed carbohydrates, mm -hmm. excess alcohol can also contribute to bad intestinal flora, as well as certain medications. There's medications that adjust our stomach acid and even daily birth control can impact our gut bacteria. Is some, if there are particular people that are more susceptible to this, or is it just anyone who's behaving in those type of It behavior? is typically more lifestyle, but when people have nerve-related conditions, the food doesn't typically move as quickly, so that can set them up to higher camp. And so some of the symptoms are going to be that distension or bloating. Mm -hmm. Some people will joke and say, you know, they have a food baby. It's a pretty dynamic change that we'll see in the GI area. Mm -hmm. Also, though, we can have bowel irregularity, cramping, and mineral deficiencies. What can we do about it? So one thing we like to avoid is another funny acronym. It's called FOD mats and bond mats they break down into fructans is the first F mm -hmm. so fructans are going to be gluten containing compounds so wheat breads crackers are those that are going to be long chain carbohydrates that can be fermented or metabolized by that bad bacteria also within the fructan family is going to be broccoli and onions and so we know that these can cause gas and bloat um, and it's usually due to that fermentation another classification is sugar alcohols so this particular product has sorbitol and Anything with an OL, so malitol, sorbitol, xylitol. I see that a lot. Yeah, those products. can be causing gas and bloating and are poorly digested by the small intestine. Also, our fructans or our concentrated fructose sugar. So even the ones that we may think are healthy, like the agave, which is low glycemic, mm -hmm. is still 100% fructose and can be metabolized by the bacteria. And apples and pears are very high fructose-containing fruits, so we'd rather do low glycemic, like berries or something. Mm -hmm. And lastly is our lactose. So the, the dairy sugar the lactose can be poorly uh, tolerated by the GI tract. And then can you take a supplement to help as well? Yeah, so a couple of things we look at with Naturally Nourished is we use the 3R approach, which is remove the irritant, so we'd be lowering the intake of these irritating compounds. Then we like to restore optimal function. So some things we may use with our clients would be a high quality pharmaceutical grade probiotic, bringing in the good mm -hmm. bacteria after we've starved off the bad. Mm -hmm. And then also digestive enzymes. Sometimes we can get that bloating or distension because we lack the chemical okay. components to help to break down the foods. It's excellent information, Allie. Thank you for sharing this with us, and I hope that you get to someday put some of these foods back because apples, broccoli are a good thing, right? What, once Can you be. reset, you're better to get it right back in. All right, thanks, Allie. Sure. Let's check on that traffic right now. Great information.